Hello everyone, thanks for joining my channel Cloud and Coffee with Prapit. In this video, we are going to learn about a very interesting project uh, product launch from the AWS, that is Amazon Quick Suite. So let's get started. So today, uh, Amazon has announced the Quick Suite, uh, and it's a it's a more of a Gen BI uh, product which allow you to go build the agentic uh, agentic AI solutions in in a, in a like you know in a natural language you do not need to write a single line of code and uh, happened to be i did the beta testing of this product and, and i i really like and this is one of the product which i'm super 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 excited about it so let's go and explore the quick suite so when if you already have a, a quick site uh, i think that's where you will be able to go and see here uh, you will be having the quick site and then you will be having the Amazon Quick Suite. So let's see what will happen if I go and click on the Quick Site. Okay, I have multiple account open, so I will be just clicking the where I will be needing. Bam! So even if you have a Quick Site, that will be automatically going and pointing to the Quick Suite, right? So this is the new uh, new UI look for the Quick Suite, and now let's go and try out the other one. And see how that will be look like so this way you can able to go get an idea so if you are a new user uh, that you that you will be looking to use quick suite and if you are an uh, old user if you're only using uh, uh, if you're only using the quick site then even you can go on the click on the quick site and then it will be like you know navigating you or pointing you to the quick suite right so if you see, look at the url still showing the quick suite but this product is quick suite why because you still have all the functionality which was offered by the uh, traditional uh, uh, quick site and now that is being packaged under the quick suite okay so look let's, let's go and get uh, started what all functionality is there so I will walk you through all the functionality and in, in upcoming videos I will be uh, kind of demo you each and every functionality the first one is uh, most important is the spaces so think of any spaces where you will be able to go and build your knowledge base so let me show you the one knowledge base which I have built this is where I have uh, uploaded all the files and you can able to go and have all the files uploaded here thereafter if you already have a dashboard which is being you know you've been using quick site and they have built a bunch of dashboards you can able to go and bring those dashboards in here and then you can able to go and uh, ask questions around around those dashboards so i have this many dashboards uh, you know um, and i can able to sorry i have this many analysis and i have this many uh, I can use those analysis to create the dashboard site. Unfortunately, I do not have a single dashboard. That's, that's sad. But okay, uh, you can able to use the analysis and have those uh, analysis, uh, use those analysis and create a dashboard out of those analysis, right? But I will show that later. Uh, you know, that may make big, uh, if I start building the dashboard, this make this video super long. But the idea is like, when you will be working on the spaces you can able to go and bring those dashboards in, in there as well apart from that you will be able to add the knowledge base uh, so when you will be going and adding the knowledge base you can able to go and create the knowledge bases and when we are creating the knowledge bases if you see here it able to go and interact with multiple services so you can it has integration with mcp server uh, or then you know it's uh, integration with an mcp protocol so you can able to call to many uh, mcp servers right and able to go bring that into mix apart from that it has uh, integration with lot many other uh, data sources as well if you see here uh, it, it has asana boomi hr at least in jira outlook etc uh, Microsoft etc so these are these are really cool and then we are having the open AI uh, specification as well so again it allows you which kind of open uh, uh, openness space for you to go and uh, and connect to so many data sources then you will be I uh, show you there are other thing which is action okay now uh, you know you wanted to take an action so let's say you perform some analysis and after the analysis you want to go and send those analysis to it to via slack or via team or via email 
etc that can be done using the action right or you want to go and create a jira ticket you want to create a login to uh, asana board etc so that can be done and if you're already using the amazon queue and you have created those topics topics is nothing but index right you can able to go and bring those indexes into mix as well uh, other thing is uh, it also offers you uh, is like okay if you already have this index let's say i already have this index i can able to go and add this index into mix so this way my agent has has far more information so this is what the stage uh, st uh, space is all about think of space is more of a knowledge base though it still has a knowledge base as a as an entity but uh, that's what the knowledge base when we when we compare with the generative ai okay uh, now once we have a stage a space now what we can able to do is with this space we can able to go and create chat chat agent so creating a chat agent is more like creating your own personal assist, assistant i have created a couple of chat agents so let me show you so if you see here this is an ai powered store um store analyst and the deep form that provide the deep dive blah 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 it's like oh, i won't read the entire text but think of like okay i wanted to build this chatbot so see how easy building this chatbot is i will be just going and click on creating chatbot i was provided what i'm looking to do and i can just say generate by looking by by this this text all right uh it able to go and and generate uh, and actually building your your agent now so see here it's just literally get done within two minutes uh and not even two minutes it will take to go and build that entire entire chat agent and i will show you one very cool feature at the end of the video um that kind of you know was liked by so many customers uh, how that how that how neat feature is that okay uh if someone is, is paying attention you already see something that in screen but i will show you at the end of this video okay cool so see here uh it will be showcasing what all things was the persona of the agent look like was the instruction of the agent look like if i want to have some kind of a communication style around that agent i can able to do that either i wanted to have executive technical creative those are the you know uh, styles where you can able to go and change the tone and everything as such uh, apart from that you can able to go and upload any file so the file is there which you can able to go upload it you can able to see if here i already have the knowledge which is integrated to it which is fine you can have already can able to go and create a multiple actions which i will show you in upcoming videos and then again uh, if you're looking to go and write few questions which kind of you display for your end user that you can able to go and write write those questions or the welcome message what else so you just you know performing performance analysis i will be calling it demo this is what it is and then just launch cool right so just literally in few clicks you have your agents ready now you can to go and uh, you know start doing uh, doing the chat and also you're able to go and see multiple agent which is already there in my in my uh, in my account so what I can do with this agent, I can just simply go and start asking a bunch of questions. So uh, I had, uh, let me go and find some questions which I already prepared earlier. And that will give you idea how strong this agent is. So uh, what I'm doing is I will be asking as a business analyst um, and I will be asking the questions is, can you uh, do a prepare a comprehensive q4 2024 performance analysis for me so let me make this a little bigger for my executive team right see here i just asked this question and then it's thinking so it means it has a thinking model under the hood then it will be going and looking into the dashboards and topics which i have shared then also i have kind of you know executive summary i have a bunch of documents so it's reading all the documents that's the that's the best thing i like about it because it will tell you like what all things it's performing uh, and then based on this uh what all things it's reading and then write uh, how it's generating your response so searching for the fourth quarter only and the fourth performance ex uh, executive report etc so these are nice uh, and then reading the PNL and other two files um, and the data and other PNL actual 
and then now like you know searching for 2024 q4 etc so like and if you look at this look for the date um, month sorry uh, year month and date and then year month and date period revenue etc so the it provide a lot of uh, idea like you know a lot of uh, mm, say in, uh, say information about or uh, forensic about how it's kind of you know uh, coming to a to an uh, uh, to an uh, output so why it is important so this way you will be able to go and trust how the how this response has generated and what i did like you know when i was build, trying building this this one i i executed multiple of sql statement just to validate the output i'm getting from from this one is it's, uh, you know it's it's not hallucinating or there's no issues mathematical issues anything as such and uh, to my surprise everything was uh, was working as expected right so or maybe it's not not that of surprise so anyways this is this is how it come up with a, with an idea it tells us like all the stores and then it has a q4 revenue uh, it has a q uh, like you know q4 net profit and open i can just simply open the art artifact and then it will tell you like a q4 customers and then which which one which store is the top performer store right so those are those are nice and then again you can able to go and uh, ask uh, uh, okay can you build a predictive model for 2025 business plan here it will go ahead and then again performing all the tasks you're able to go and uh, get the details uh, as well uh, Cool. Uh, so I will let it run, uh, and then I can go and uh, show other other functionality which is available in here. Um, where is where it went? Yeah. So the spaces. Other thing is the flow. Okay. If you have a, a standard operating procedure which you're looking to go and automate those, that's what like you know flows comes really handy. So you can have those everyday tasks which you are looking to go. Hey, every morning I want to go and review this dashboard. Based on this dashboard, I wanted to go and generate a executive summary, and then I want to send those executive summary to by my leadership, right? So similar kind of a task that can be go and automated here. So this is this is super cool. Other thing which I have which I really love uh, is the research. So it it able to perform those. PSD label research and I did a couple of research for my work and I was blown away uh, about the research and, and everything as such. I did uh, perform research on other tools as well and sometimes they just make up like you know uh, they provide any any URL some of those URL is not even working. For this one I, I checked and it was everything was working fine all the data was meeting and everything so this is super 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 cool. Uh, now other part of this uh, quick suite is this quick automate. So it has a various task for you to go and perform the automate. So if you're looking to transform that any business or any SOPs into uh, into here, that's where like you know you will to go and perform it. So any SOPs if you're looking to do perform like you know if you're looking to perform a variance analysis, if you're looking to do any other automations around your business, this is your place to go get started. Um, it has a uh, again uh, that that's a part of the automation itself. And if you're looking to go and uh, perform those, um, you know, uh, performance that can be can be done as well. Then this other task which you're able to go and create. So now let me go back and uh, show you other things uh, here. I think I should, uh, quick uh, I walked you through uh, through that. I think this is being done. So it's generated. Like if you see here, it generated the graph and everything as such. If I can go simply expand it. You can able to see it's generated the graph, etc. I'm sorry if I'm doing the context switching here, but this is the result from my previous questions where I asked, hey, can you build the predictive model for 2025 business planning, right? So uh, it did the fairly good job. Um, and again, you can try out your own. Uh, it has its up 20, it's offer 30 day trial period for up to 25 users. Other thing is like, okay, you will be having this integration as i already told you it able to go and allow you to perform the integration to knowledge bases um, uh, data and, and an action and also you can able to have multiple extension being being created which is like one extension is browser extension so remember i told you i will show you something really cool so this is this is the extension i was talking earlier so we have i have this 
browser extension. So think of like, you know, you don't need to worry about going and logging into the quick suite for you to go to use it. You can able to use any of this extension and that will be available to you. And then you can able to print in your, in your browser and you can start asking the questions. Other thing which I really liked about it, like, okay, uh, the real time inference about this project. So let's say I'm having this amazon.com website open and I can say, hey, just summarize this amazon.com website. Why it is important is like, you know, many times you will be having your knowledge base. At the same time, there are data which is there on the internet and which you're looking to go and use it for your for your research research purposes, right? So those that that is super super cool uh, to have and able to point the data and then able to pick a correlation between the data which which is you getting from the online with the data which you already have it in in here. Okay, uh, so let me go and show you the pricing of the quick suite. So I think I had a pricing somewhere. Um, my apologies, I, I missed that pricing part. Anyways, let me uh, show you the quick suite pricing. Okay, let me close this here. So it has a two pricing. One is professional pricing. Other one is the enterprise pricing. I will put this into into um, a page, but idea is like the professional is more like the person or a reader. This is more of a of a writer. So again, um, that's very very high level. You can able to go and see what all things they able to do. Like you know, for the for the professional, they able to go and form the chat with an agent which I was showcasing earlier. They able to go and uh, you know create and share those chat agent. They able to go and create those spaces which I showed you earlier. Uh, so those are things are there and then uh, are they able to go and uh, like you know if you have an enterprise uh, license you're able to go and configure the setup the actions you're able to go and share the knowledge bases as well you can able to go and create a dashboards and, and a report so those are things are 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 there right uh, additional uh, thereafter you will be having some uh, additional values so i believe this strict, a strict mark like you know additional agent hour so those are the agent, additional agent hours you will be going in paying for this, this tool uh, i really liked it i tried it out as i told you right i tried out when it was in beta uh, i did a lot of testing with this tool and in upcoming videos i will be showcasing what all cool, cool feature is available uh, with with this service so if you have not followed my video yet i uh, if you have not subscribed my youtube video yet please do provide a subscriptions your subscriptions mean a lot to me uh, thank you very much